Good morning dear friends greetings to you all in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ welcome to soul fuel morning meditations in english it's thursday the 3rd of june and the verse chosen for today's brief meditation is taken from saint paul's letter to the ephesians chapter 5 verse 18 and do not get drunk with wine for that is debauchery but be filled with the spirit When we think of being filled with spirit we often relate it to an emotional experience or a feeling of euphoria but in reality the word filled could be translated controlled by it is a word that speaks of what happens when the wind fills the sails of a boat and guides it along so god is saying that we are to let his spirit fill us and control our lives When we look at this word we see that in the original language it's in a tense that speaks of something that should be done continually so you could translate the sentence be constantly filled with the spirit now we need to understand my dear friends that this isn't a one time event instead it is something that takes place again and again just as we repeatedly fill the gas tanks in our cars to keep them running Some people in the days of Saint Paul and even in some cultures today believe that the spirit world could be entered through drunkenness. If you wanted to contact the spirits or a dead ancestor, all you had to do was to get drunk. The Greeks even had a god of wine called Dionysus and they believed that when you got drunk, this god came and inspired you or possessed you to do and say certain things. Saint Paul is going to show us in Ephesians chapter 5 was 18 that the spirit filled life is not gained through such methods and so he does so with a contrast he says do not be drunk Paul puts drunkenness and being filled with spirit together because there is a comparison between the two as well as contrast a person who is drunk is under the influence of alcohol and a spirit filled christian is under the influence and power of the holy spirit while being filled with the spirit is similar to getting drunk in the sense that it is an issue of being controlled is a serious mistake to suppose that to be filled with spirit is a kind of spiritual intoxication in which we lose control of ourselves a man who is drunk loses control to alcohol but on the contrary what the spirit does however is the exact opposite when the spirit controls a person they become their best and their highest they become what all people are meant to be dear friends god wants to refill us with his spirit it is a great thing i believe to say each day lord fill me with your spirit lord fill me once again are we ready to be filled with the spirit and continue living in the conscious presence of the lord jesus christ letting his mind through the word dominate everything that is thought and done can you join in this prayer along with me heavenly father may we be led and guided by the spirit into ever deeper truth that we might truly know you and make you known may we learn to live by the spirit in our everyday living by being attentive to your voice and obedient to your promptings may we keep in step with the spirit putting aside our own agendas through the continual filling of the spirit change us o god in jesus name we pray amen god bless you my dear friends have a blessed day 